the name of the garden is Our Community Garden. We're on Facebook and you can get a chance to see some of the uh, growing processes, growing process of the uh, garden, you know, how we started and when we started and stuff like that. We'll be on um, Our Community Garden on Facebook. And my name is Maria Rosier and I'm the founder of the garden here. I created this whole garden in 2011. Max. Hey Max, how's it going? So uh, how are you feeling about what happened today and what do you experience? Uh, you know, the garden's really nice and like I like being around the garden and how it smells and stuff. It makes me feel like, really happy. What, what vegetables in particular do you like? I like watermelons, <laughs> and tomatoes, tomatoes cucumbers. cucumbers, sunflowers. So, so do you like seeing them here at the gardens? Yeah, very fascinating to see them. My name is Deborah Alston. I'm the Asta Place Neighborhood Association Vice President. The South Community Garden is free for the community to come in and work in here so they could pick any vegetable that they want, mm -hmm. plant and grow. We have started on Earth Day, April 20th of this year. The presentation, the construction, everything in the school, I think is really pretty interesting. The majors they offer here, I think it's really, really worth it. Uh, the associate degrees and the bachelor degrees. Berkeley is a really good school, but mostly if you're looking for business and accounting. Personally, I'm not that great with math, so this school would be great for somebody that is. Um, as for campus life, it does seem pretty cool. It's basically, you're, you're almost definitely on your own. So if you're not that independent of a person, work is most likely not the place for you. The presentation was cool. She told us a lot about every major that was there. Um, I like the I like how the school is. It's structured nice. I'm Director Elise Easterling. We're here at Bethany Brown and we have Vacation Bible School every year for the last 18 years. And we enjoy the kids counselors to come in to help us with our children. Camp Gospel Rock. And um, yeah, we were just playing with the kids. We was um getting wet by the kids. We got tortured, and then uh we played football. And I got and I got wet in the back.
Good afternoon, this is Mr. Casala. I'm the instructor for the Vocational Theater Arts course. Our students have been putting together an anti-bullying themed presentation. With me are a couple of my students who are participants in said project, and they're gonna talk to you a little bit about that. Um, Josh, why don't you begin? What, what, what is the nature of the project that we've been working on? Tell everyone watching, go ahead, don't be, don't be nervous. Um, well, we're trying to give people an idea of what bullying is like and give an idea of what it's like for the bully in their perspective as well. Right, right. That, that's a good point. Sometimes, you know, well, while the bully is the one doing some pretty mean things, sometimes the bully is kind of going through something pretty, pretty serious of his or her own, and so they act out. Go ahead, Melissa. Thank you, Mr. Kisala. Oh, you're welcome. Um, and as a way to portray that the best way possible, we chose to do the scene with me as the mother and my co-star, Dean, as the father. And in that scene, we explained the difficulties that the bully, he, his or herself, might be facing at home. I didn't even see it. Well, they're probably hiding in the water. It was in the water. There's like four fish in there. We are celebrating another day at Bear Stadium here in Newark, New Jersey. Semi-Pro professional baseball team, uh, which I, I felt that the kids deserve a treat like this. And we were honored by the CEO and owner of the Bears, as well as the executive director, Lewis, to give us tickets to this occasion once again. There's some sumo wrestlers. I don't know why they're there, but I think it's going to be very interesting later. <laughs> One, two. Go ahead. On behalf of Johnson County School of Technology, we'd like to present these tokens to the owner, the CEO, Danielle, the Lil Bears, and the executive director, Louis Cobain. As far as helping us out and inviting the kids to a game for the hour.